So the question comes up when you're going to be learning PHP is what is it about these versions? So if you if you pick up a book to learn PHP, uh, you'll notice though they may the book may talk about what version of PHP that the book covers, or if you uh, if you download an open source web application, you may see that that web application requires a certain version of PHP, and you may wonder why that is. The thing that you have to understand about uh, uh, PHP as an interpreted language is that the interpreter has versions just like other programs or applications have versions, right? Outlook or Exchange or Excel, any, any application that you use uh, has versions and different versions have different features and functionality. Programming languages are the same. So version 1 has a certain feature set, version 2 has a certain feature set, version 4, 5, 6, 7, they all have their, their own feature sets. And so it's important to understand when you code in PHP, the functions that you're going to be using will be based off of the PHP version that you're using. So what happens is a lot of times, uh, if you look at uh, functions, so with the mail function or the print functions, uh, the different different functions in a programming language, think about those as those are kind of like features in, 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 an, in an application. So when you go to Gmail, Gmail has certain features. If you go to Snap or you go to Facebook, there's certain features. Well, with programming languages, what happens is that certain versions of the programming language, they'll test out new features. They'll, they'll say, well, this is how we've been doing email up till now. This is the email function up till now. Let's let's see if we can do mail in a different way. Let's let's see if we can create a better function that, that's able to do what we've been doing before, only in a better way. Now sometimes that works, and so in future versions, the new function will replace the old function. And sometimes it doesn't work. And there's a lot of functions that are created. People think it's going to be the, the, the greatest function in the world. Oh, this is this is people are gonna use the hell out of this function. And then nobody uses it. So the function sticks around for, for a couple of versions, and then it gets dropped at a certain point. So it's important to understand when you're coding in PHP and you're using functions, that depending on what version of PHP you're using, those functions may exist or may not exist in that particular version. And so when you create your PHP code, you need to realize uh, what, what version of PHP you created that code for, and then going forward, you need to either modify the code as versions of PHP change go into the future, or you simply stipulate that this PHP code needs to be run on version 7 or version 5 or version 4 or version 3. And so this is what happens. This is where you get into problems with PHP. Again, a lot of times with PHP, uh, PHP gets written. Uh, people don't think it's going to be that significant. Again, somebody creates something like an inventory control system. They figure they figure it'll be trash within a year. They're they're just doing something for some little side project, make some little side project easier, and then all of a sudden it's five years later, and the entire corporation is is using that original code. So one of the problems that that you have is when that code is written, it's it's using particular functions based off of the current version of PHP. But then as time goes by, new versions of PHP come out, new functions come out, but also functions are deprecated, uh, functions are taken away. And so one of the things that you have to realize is if that you're going to continue using this code over the years, you either have to update the code as different versions come, come online, or you just simply have to realize that this code can only be run on a server running PHP 4, PHP 3, or PHP 5, so on and so forth. So that's all we're talking about with PHP versions. Now, when you're doing simple code, to be clear, when you're doing uh, relatively simple, this the stuff that we'll be talking about in this PHP track, you should be fine. More or less, you should be fine. It should, it should work on whatever whatever PHP version that you're using. Uh, where this really uh, gets becomes more important is when you're doing uh, app web applications that have thousands of lines or tens of thousands of lines of code. You're doing very very special, very specific things. Uh, that that's when things like PHP version can really come come out and really start to cause problems. So this is important to understand if you download and install a web application and it's not functioning properly for some reason. Uh, one of the reasons may be is that you're using the wrong version of PHP for what that particular web application was developed for. So those are some of the things you should be thinking about with PHP versions, and that's why they matter.